Saturday morning. It is springtime. It is just around 10 degrees Celsius. The weather is absolutely beautiful. I had some oatmeal for breakfast. I added banana on top, a bit of sugar too to sweeten it up. And that's a really good pre-workout meal. I'm about to go hit legs at the gym today. I've been trying to pick up legs two to three times a week. Leg day is a pass. I absolutely killed legs today. I did six different leg exercises around four sets per exercise. So that means I'm aiming around 24 sets of leg exercises each leg day, which adds up to around 48 working sets of legs per week as I hit legs twice a week. I decided to do some cardio after the gym, but I thought to myself, why run in the gym or do stair climbers when it is a absolutely beautiful day today? I thought to myself, let's head down to the waterfront trail and have a nice light jog at the waterfront. I was running down this trail right here and I noticed that there is a trail going into the woods right here and it looks like I should be able to reach the waterfront if I take this trail. So let's go on a little off-road hike and see if I can manage to get some shots of the waterfront. It looks a little muddy but I could probably sneak around the side right here keep the gym shoes clean there we go oh yeah I should definitely be able to get to the waterfront up over there at the water obviously but I cooled down for my jog I'm kind of just enjoying these views the water looks blue it's a great day I'm trying to figure out how I can manage to get down there and actually to the beach I guess you could call it it's more so rocks than sand but let's figure out how I can manage to get down there so this trail is more established than I thought as it took me not only from the paved trail back there to the waterfront here, but by the looks of it, the trail runs along the waterfront right here. And I believe if you take this trail, you can actually end up walking to the tip of that point right there. I found this other trail that broke off from the trail that took me up to the cliff and it looks like I can get to the waterfront from here, so. the waterfront that was honestly a lot easier than I thought there's literally just a separate trail that broke off and kind of took me down here and now we're at the waterfront so I'm gonna go for a little walk along the waterfront not too far but I probably won't be vlogging this too much or speaking too much as it is way too windy
Hey guys, if you've made it this far into the video, I would just like to thank all of you as I'm putting a lot of effort into creating these videos as well as editing these videos. I'm constantly learning and researching how to get better at editing videos and just becoming a better content creator overall. I would like to dedicate this last part of this video to some motivation, kind of a motivational talk. So about one to two months ago, I noticed that I lost some motivation and dedication to my fitness journey. I would still get in the gym four, five, six times a week, just like I did before and just like I do now. But I noticed during my workouts that I wasn't pushing myself as hard as I used to and clearly nowhere near as hard as I do now. I kind of had this slack, this kind of loss of discipline. And I'm not too sure where it came from. Maybe it's just that plateau that people get during their fitness journey. But I was thinking to myself, I need to overcome this. This is not good. I wasn't eating efficiently and healthy. I wasn't sleeping as good as I should have been. And like I said, I wasn't even pushing myself as hard as I should have been while doing my workouts. So overall, once I remembered this picture that I had in my head, this goal that I wanted to achieve, it kind of almost slapped me back into reality. Almost slapped me back into the mindset that I need more so to overcome this plateau, I guess you could call it, in my fitness journey. And honestly, when I realized the true meaning and the reason why I go to the gym, it honestly fixed my lack of discipline, my loss of motivation completely. Overall, whatever you are doing, not even fitness related, whatever your passion is, it could be work, it could be a hobby, you need to overcome that bit of lack of discipline if you want to become better at whatever you want to do. And if you feel like you are experiencing that lack of discipline, that lack of motivation to become better at whatever you're doing, just remember why you started doing it. Have that picture in your mind and don't forget it. Let it sit there in the back of your mind. Let it remind you to be better, to push yourself harder, to practice more, to learn more, to do whatever it may be. Well, I guess I've done enough preaching for today. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please stick around as new videos will be coming shortly. Thanks for watching, guys.